It's your boy King Cobra JFS back at you, Cool Cobras, with another video. Now, I'm not streaming as much because I'm kind of taking a break from videos, but I figured I'd make this one right quick. So, I'm not here to start drama. This is just a video response. We got ourselves a drink combo. I made some money off my Teespring, and that's what's up. Your boy Cobra has some Jim Bean Peach and some Mango Pepsi. Want to do a video response? Yes, sir. People are informing me that my ex-girlfriend uh, Stephanie does videos. Quite frankly, I don't care. YouTube's a big enough platform. I'm an adult. She's an adult. We can all share this platform peacefully. However... I think it's cute how she's copying my style. Like, bro, the same format too. The only difference is she ain't making wands. And you know what's funny? The only reason people watch her videos is because she used to date me, huh? And you know what's even funnier? When I turn off the comments on my videos, it pisses the, it pisses the trolls off so much. They spam Stephanie's videos. It just shows you how obsessive my trolls are. Cheers. First, she said, and I quote, she was attracted to me because he looked like the bad boy of Job Corps. Honey, I was the bad boy of Job Corps. Everyone at Job Corps knew who the fuck I was. They were like, yeah, that's Saunders. I, I, uh, I took Schlater's bike for a joyride around campus. That was some wild shit. And uh, Schlater was just one of those... Job core instructors you didn't want to fuck with or piss off, but Cobra over here. Second thing she said in her live stream that she made recently. The only reason she dated me is because she was depressed and didn't realize that she was cute. Okay, first of all, Stephanie, we were we were both awkward young adults back then, so don't don't play yourself like that. Second of all, would it kill you to admit you're attracted to bad boys? Obviously, it would. Otherwise, you know, she wouldn't deny it. You're just like Casper Anonymous fucking trying to capitalize off my fame on YouTube. The only difference is you used to date me. I do I regret cheating on Stephanie? Fuck yeah, I do. I had a good woman at my side. She cooked for me and gave me sex whenever I wanted. No man would complain about that. So I was an idiot, but I've learned to forgive myself. Hey, you know, Stephanie's cute, but I've seen women that are 4,000 times harder, so don't bullshit yourself. So, as far as the wands go, I can't rush perfection. I used to try to get a bunch of wands done at the same time as fast as I can, but then I'd have to rush the production. And I'm like, no, don't, don't rush the production one at a time, no matter how long it takes. It could take several days to make one wand. That's why... My wands are high high quality. I'm the only professional wand maker in town. All the magic shops here in town order their shit online. So there you go. Like if it came to me ending my dry spell of winning the or winning the lottery and being comfortable the rest of my life, I choose the lottery to be honest. Like I refuse to just sit on my ass and you know collect payments and do nothing. I want to make money for myself. I become a recognized musician and a professional wand maker. My wands and my music are high in demand. I got a market. So that's how you do it. Stephanie obviously saw that how successful I've become on YouTube and she wanted to cash in on that. That's a warm ass. Fucking warm ass. What month is it? June 3rd. Yes. What? I gotta create your own Little Caesars pizza on stuffed crust. Additional toppings for the main topping. We got bacon on stuffed crust. You know the garlic butter.
Look at that cheese pole. This fucking pizza I ordered from Little Caesars. It is pristine. Which consists of a create your own pizza. Shout out to the fans. I got some sweet care packages. What, what? All right, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Let's see. Oh, yeah. What? Two six packs of beer. Aw, oh, my fucking fans are awesome. What do we got here? Pizza flavored beer. Aw, oh, snap. YouTube, we gotta try one of these. Yes, we do. What else we got? Oh yes, let's get it. The can got a little dented up, but that's what's up. We can fix it. Hold on a second. Might need a bigger knife for this. We got it open. Mm. That actually does taste like pizza and beer. Like the tomato sauce kind of texture. Like the cheese and sauce, basically. Joey Davidson shirt, yes. I think I have this shirt. Cool. Joey Davidson kicks ass. But they think it's history of goth. Modern goth, ignoring where the name itself originally comes from, started in the early 80s as part of a punk subculture. The phrase was coined by the band manager of Joy Davidson, Anthony H. Wilson, who deserves to describe the band as gothic compared with the pop mainstream. All right. It came with a note. Let's see what it says. King Cobra JFS, I'm one of your biggest fans. Hell yeah. I'm from Chicago, and I've included two Chicago-only drinks, Mollart and Green River. My drink combo is half and half. I named it Green Cobra after you. Heart Zoe. P.S. I added some other food for your dank food reviews. Well, thank you, Zoe. Appreciate it. Let's see what we got. The Joy Davidson shirt was pretty sweet. Yes. Canned fish. I loves me some canned fish. You already know, YouTube. What's this? Wild cherry water flavoring. Sweet. Oh, yes. This stuff. I've had this stuff before. This uh, Merlot liqueur. It's got a funky aftertaste on it, but it kicks like a mule. YouTube fam, I do appreciate the support. Much love. I'm doing all right. You know, I'm a little depressed, but I'm hanging in there. My rent is now like 690 bucks. I can cover it every month, but it's not going to leave me jack shit for internet, groceries, or, you know. So, I'll be making a shit ton more wands to compensate for that. I've had this uh I've had this drink before, I recognize the label. It had a funky taste to it, but it got you through, you know. Now I'll be able to cover the, the rent every month, but it's gonna break me pretty pretty good. I won't have money outside of that for anything else. So So we'll just do this. Half and half. Hell yeah, that's good soda pop. Pour it. Oh, it's green. It's green. Like my troll's green with envy. Mmm. 
Yes, I've had this stuff. It's not the tastiest liquor. No offense to my uh, Chicago fans, but it'll get the job done. Who? Mm. Do you hate yourself? This is the drink for you. Do you hate others? This is the drink for them. Not Marlot's weird tasting, but it's drinkable, to be honest. I've had some weirder combinations, so there you go. No, living in this apartment, I like living in this apartment. I want to make it work, YouTube. It's going to be tight, you know, bust my ass, make some wands, get my hustle on, you know. Waiting on an order of tactical soup to arrive. That's most definitely what's up. Ordered like five bars of my Bond original. It's like my favorite scent from tactical soap, the Bond number one, the black bar. Delicious smell. You are pretty turkey. Yeah. Got you on camera. Oh, snap. Turkeys. <laughs> we got another one over yonder. Hold up. Dude, turkeys just run wild all over Casper. It's insane. Turkeys. Burger King in the house. We got a food challenge, baby. A chicken deluxe sandwich meal and a spicy chicken deluxe meal. So spicy and regular. And a double sourdough king. I couldn't order ranch with it, but that's all right. Can Cobra eat all the food? Will it be a mukbang? Let's find out. Trying to cuss less on my channel so maybe they'll monetize me. <laughs> you think? Probably not. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Double the patties. Oh, snap. Sourdough King. Like, even if a troll has sent me that uh, mall art liquor, I still got free liquor in the mail for some asshole who thought, I know this liquor tastes like crap. But if it was sent by a legit fan, that's what's up, you know? Between three large fries and a chicken, or not chicken, fucking sourdough sandwich with bacon and beef, you know, I'm pretty full. So I'll save those for the next time. I eat. This is bullshit interview going around. And for the record, I know it's bullshit because I don't remember saying the things I was accused of. And we're just going to leave it at that. I realize how fucking easy it would be to kick Stephanie's ass to twice your size, twice your muscle. You know, and I'm like, you know what, beating Stephanie up because of this issue wouldn't solve anything. If anything, it'd make the situation worse. Anyways, YouTube. Sipping on some drink combo for the weekend. How you Cobras doing? So someone sent me a uh, text message. Either they, they were pretending to be Stephanie or it really was her. I'm not sure. But to be honest, the text message said, and I quote, 
Can you turn on comments? I'm tired of your trolls harassing me on my stream. And my response to that is no. Okay, you want to be a YouTuber like your ex-boyfriend, then, you know, you can put up with the comments like I can. You don't like it? Turn off your comments, too. That's just it. Like, you know, I'm the same woman that fucking takes advantage of her privilege as a woman in society will bitch when men do it and vice versa. It just shows you. The dating scene sucks ass, dude. It really does. Uh, you know, I'm not in a rush to get laid. Worst comes to worst. I, I, I would save up for a five foot eight, you know, fun doll. Political correct way to say it. And, uh, you know, this three year, this three year dry spell has actually been good for me, to be honest. It's given me a lot to reflect on the way I, the way I've treated women in the past. What's really important in life. You'll see people in life who are No, it's the truth. You'll see people in life who are who are struggling with that. You know? That fucking liquor is potent. <laughs> okay, it's the weekend. I'm polishing off the rest of my drink combo. Good it goodage. Shout out to Zoe. Thank you for the uh, drink combo. And shout out to the fan who provided the uh, pizza beer as well. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what we got here. Crispy chicken. Chicken hand breaded for next level crispiness. Thanks for watching me sing. I'll catch you later. What up, Cobra fam? It's your boy back at it with another live video. We're going to try the uh, regular version first. Mm. YouTube is maybe a couple of days old in my fridge. It's still good. That's most fucking definitely what's up. $18.34. Payment from Angela Carr. Got cash back bonus from PayPal. Sweet. Yes. I appreciate that, fam. Most definitely what's up. We'll take that 18 bucks and go get me some beer. Well, if I get a little bit of alcohol with that 18 bucks, I don't have to squeeze through it all in one day, you know? Boy, am I glad I didn't spill that. Holy fuck. Now I go take my large soda out of the fridge and I dropped it. I was like, shit, and I'll try to pick it up and thankfully I didn't spill it. Words, so we're going to put this phone on airplane mode. Yes. We don't want no distractions. Appreciate y'all tuning in to watch this Patreon stream. So, we got ourselves some of this Bud Light Platinum, courtesy of the fans who donated to PayPal earlier. I appreciate you. I'll be doing a separate video for the patroners who subscribed to the more expensive Patreon tier. Kicking ass in life, yo. That's most definitely what's up. That $53 that I make on Patreon every month is definitely going to come in handy. On a side note, I am a little pissed. Yes. You know, I'm pissed off because 
the weed bill in Wyoming was turned down. Fucking God damn it. I was getting so excited, YouTube. I was like, man, I want to get a medical marijuana card for my Asperger's. I'll be able to sit here on stream and uh, nobody will say shit. But no. No, if I win the fucking lottery, I'm going to slap a million dollars on Governor Gordon's desk. The governor of Wyoming be like, hey, man, this million, dollar, this million dollars could be yours. All you got to do is legalize pot. You know? Like, who do I got to bribe? If I win the lottery, who do I got to bribe to make this sh happen? Because this is ridiculous. Anyways, YouTube. Should keep the stream going for an hour? Yeah, we can do that. I want to make sure my patroners are getting their money's worth. I just capped myself in the face. Ah! Crack it down! Crack it down! Save the weed! I'm going to have like one more beer after this for the other Patreon video. And then I want to put the rest in the fridge for later. I don't want to burn through this case. And even if I am... Or people say like, oh, Cobra's such an alcoholic. It's like, who cares? I don't cause trauma. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck off. No, I'm serious. <clears throat> now, if you saw the title of the video, Taco Bell Food Review, what? We got a br brand new fresh order of Taco Bell. We got Chalupa Supreme, one. Brisk Mango Fiesta, one. The Naked Chicken Chalupa Meal, featuring a naked chicken chalupa with everything on it, add beef, a Doritos Locals Taco Supreme, everything on it, a beef burrito. We got the Mango Fiesta and the Baja Blast. Oh, nacho cheese, Doritos, Locos, Tacos, one of my personal faves. This is mainly for the chicken chalupa review. We're going to get a little mukbang to go with it. You know, taking that money, you know, send me in PayPal and putting it towards things like food reviews. What do we got here? Oh, snap. The chicken, naked chicken chalupa. No, Taco Bell is not a sponsor. That's just free advertisement. But, bro, dinner is served. Let's get a bite. One second. Mm. Oh, man. No. We got ourselves a Bud Light Platinum. Some Baja Blast. Going to add a splash of that mango.
Oh, yes. We'll drink half of this, pour some beer in there, and leave you with it. Pour it. Pour it. Pour it. Pour it. Oh, snap. Let's call it Tropical Storm Mountain Dew with some Bud Light Platinum. How's it going to taste? Oh, that beer combo. Prestige. Sunday night doing a Sydney Watson video response. I'm going to grab the uh, yellow lighter that uh, my neighbors gave to me because they had an extra one. They're just like, yeah, you're struggling with the lighter you have. Here's an extra one. I'm like, thanks. I don't know. I'm trying to make the Mordor reference make sense. Let's hear from our sponsor, Exter. Exter designs what they call smart wallets. You can also call the tracker from your phone using the Chipolo app. I am not even kidding. I am so excited about this. Now that is some crazy technology. Losing your wallet sucks ass. With this wallet that Miss Sydney Watson's advertising has like three... Three months of charge time. That's what's up. So if you lose your wallet, you can always track it with your phone. Because, you know, technology and shit. Now, I wouldn't have a problem with kids going to a gay parade. Except some of the costumes that uh, the adults are wearing, it's a little provocative. Like, I try to think, how would it feel to be persecuted for being straight? Oh, wait, that's already a thing. If you're straight in today's society, you get persecuted and judged. While people who are gay, lesbian, etc. don't get judged. I fear by the end of this video, my case of beer that I had in the fridge will be gone. So much for saving it for later. Did you see anything that you have questions on? <laughs> that cheeky fucking smirk. It'll continue this awkward yet much needed discussion. We're down to our last three beers. We've got some Bud Light Platinum, not a sponsor. Gotta be 21 and up. I got this uh, Dakota Customs and Shoppers poster. I got it at a hot rod show. My dad was doing photography for the hot rods and the motorcycles at this hot rod show. I go up to a stand at the tender age of being a little kid, practically junior high, you know, just barely old enough to understand shits. And like this smoking hot goth chick gave me a poster for free and she signed it. And like it's got a picture of this hot blonde and this hot goth chick. And they're both posing next to the same bike in separate images. I still have the image hanging up right there next to my computer. And let me tell you, that probably played a big influence to me being goth, apart from listening to Cradle of Filth. I gotta be careful walking around town with my Cobra cane because some people will get offended because I don't need it for actual medical use. And because I'm not that kind of person, there are a lot of people who need a cane because that's just how it is. I don't want to be that one asshole that's just like, oh, I'm walking around with it because I think it looks cool and then just piss off everybody else. Fuck that. Like, this one person was giving me shit about it at the store. And as soon as I mentioned I was autistic and I had Asperger's, he immediately shut the fuck up. He was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I'm like, kiss my ass, dude.
No, when I want to get my dad for Father's Day, I can't get him his Mustang because he already found that. Like, I was going to win the lottery and be like, oh, hey, Dad, I found the Mustang you had in high school. Here's the money for it kind of thing. But my dad beat me to it and already got, you know what I'm saying? So, like, the thing I would get my dad for Father's Day my dad loves Red Lobster. Like, that's one of my dad's favorite restaurants. So one of the things I try to get my dad for Father's Day is a Red Lobster gift card because he can take my stepmom Tannis out for a romantic date and get a couple bucks off. It's not the best because I would give my dad a custom-made... 32 Ford three window coupe if I could afford it. Now, um, if I become an old man and the doctor says you need a cane to walk with, what do you think I got in my hands? Oh, no, there are some people who actually need it for therapeutic slash actual walking reasons. So to be honest, I'll walk around with a wand in my pocket before I walk around with this. Unless it's like snowing outside. Because this can be used to help me walk in the slippery cold weather. As I found I've gotten older, my joints and my bones... They don't do so well in cold environments, to be honest. I found this I found this out like cold weather in my uh, bones and my joints are just like yeah no. It's pretty sad that I'm experiencing that at 30, but YouTube fam. We went to a McDonald's for breakfast and we're about to make a breakfast food hack sandwich. We have a bacon, egg and cheese McGriddle, a sausage egg McMuffin, and one hash brown. Now for the sausage egg McMuffin, we went extra cheese. We're going to use that, yes please, as the base for our sandwich. Now for the bacon, egg and cheese McGriddle, we had them add... Extra bacon, uh, two slices of tomato, extra cheese, and pretty much remove the McGriddle bun. So, sorry we are out of tomatoes, so we gave you even more bacon. Again, sorry, McDonald's. There you go. So that, that, that's, uh, that's quality service right there, you know. YouTube, we're making the ultimate breakfast sandwich. Let's go ahead and pop that other egg and cheese. I'm going to take all that cheese, the extra cheese, all that bacon, and we're going to pop it on top of that sausage and cheese and egg just like that. Now, YouTube, we're going to take the hash brown, okay, and pop it on top just like that. Look at that. The ultimate, the Mick Ultimate breakfast sandwich from McDonald's. The society we live in. It's annoying as shit. Like, you don't even know. You too. <laughs> you don't even fucking know. I want some of age pussy and I need to wait patiently. I've actually met a fucking fangirl at the bar before. Shit, you not. No, it's the truth, dude. When I went to a bar, 
I had a fangirl come up to me and she goes, are you King Cobra JFS? And I says, yes. And I hung out with her and I didn't get laid, but that was still cool, you know? I know that of age is implied, but I'm still going to say it because I really sincerely fucking hate sickos. Like when I smoke pot, the weed tells me I hate pedophiles and rape and sickos. I know it's all implied, but I'm serious, dude. I don't give a shit. Like, like I know of age is automatically implied, but it's just become a habit, you know? Now I'm gonna take a break from the fast food because I feel like shit, to be honest. You know, I'll get some bullshit text message and I block, tweet, and ignore it. So the likelihood of me being an of age fangirl at the bar is gonna happen again. Just wait and see, dog. What up, YouTube? Feeling a lot better than I did earlier, that's for sure. I don't know if it was the fast food or the alcohol that I've been consuming lately or what, but I was feeling like sh shit earlier, to be honest with you. So I took a nap and I definitely feel better after napping. You now I gotta break that habit of saying of age because it's automatically implied and you know, people are actually dicks for harassing me about that to be honest. But you ignore it and keep doing your thing and that's what pisses off the haters. How tall am I? Five, nine, six feet? What up, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra JFS doing a quick live video. Hold up. Hey guys, it's Destiny, and today I'm doing a haul video from Dolls Kill. Dolls Kill is one of my favorite online clothing brands. Doof. So the things are from, but let's just the pastels are my favorite. A high neck halter bathing suit. There's no padding in it, and it kind of has this cool like. Good gravy. It's kind of a swimsuit material, but I just thought this was really fun. Jesus Christ is a sea bomb. Good Lord. Pink, but on the top, it's just a rainbow, which I think is adorable. And it's purple, but it has this pink velvet lettering on it. Well, I guess it's like felt, not my <laughs> baby. Okay, I got distracted, YouTube. Hold up. <laughs> Stephanie is hot and has money and a car, and you're a drunk, broke, loser, blah, 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 except I'm not a loser. I'm not drunk right now. And yeah, you know, I'm not going to mince words. My uh, ex Stephanie's cute, but I've seen harder, to be honest. It's your sexy goth bad boy King Cobra JFS and we're hanging out at the hideaway. Grabbing a picture and hitting the road, Mr. Toad. So hope you all having a fantastic evening. Check out the local bars, baby. What up, you two? It's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video response. We're doing Isaac Butterfield. The American Steve Irwin must be stopped. Oh, you don't even know. Ugh. Australians and probably most people in the world can remember exactly where they were when they found out that Australian conservationist and Australian fucking legend and hero and all that type of business, Steve Irwin had died. I was out on my skateboard doing kick flips and shit. Shit. I was sitting at home with my parents watching Tiger Woods golf when I found out Steve Irwin died. Rest to be Steve Irwin. And I'm not making this up. There is this evangelical Christian who's trying to be Steve Irwin and it's annoying as shit. And we're gonna get into it things on his TikTok. He's found some fame recently. And basically what he does is find <coughs> snakes most of the time, but a lot of other animals <coughs> as well, gets really Shit. excited and takes that Steve Irwin attitude of animals and catching them and showing people to the next level. 
What up, YouTube? Shout out to the fan who sent me this sick shirt. That's most definitely what's up. Send it to my P.O. box. That's pretty bitchin'. Thanks for the shirt. Hello, friends. It's me. And Hello, Sniper Wolf. This person was caught walking out of a Best Buy. Just, ah, she ran. She ran. My dude grabbed it. The tripod has been secured. Dang, you just gonna let her go like that? Ma'am, I just want to check your receipt. All right, but what if next time I go, I buy something and then I run out with it? I smell a lawsuit brewing. Yeah, fuck stealing, man. It's the truth. Get a fucking job and, like... Earn it the honest way. Probably can't fit them in here. I'm waiting just to get that shot done and I can put all the mouths up there. You know what I'm saying? God, it's just been crazy. And then in law got married. My little brother in law got married. Yeah, he got married. Poor bastard. Put on that ball and chain. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? He's in. He's on his gosh dang honeymoon in like Zimbabwe or something right now. It's just crazy, dude. This is best man, so I had to do all my best man duties, okay? Check you. Oh, 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 my God. Hit me up on TikTok if you guys want. Do what? Fuck crying at weddings. Okay, like, that's so retarded. A couple days ago. Yeah. Nothing against outlaw or his in-law fam or what have you. I'm just saying, if you cry at weddings, you're stupid. I don't know. Um, doing my best man duties for his wedding, so hit me up on TikTok. Jared Outlaw. I don't know why people cry at weddings. Because weddings are just funerals with cakes. Fuck love. How about that new bell buckles, huh? I don't get too far. I mean, my belly's going. Like, if you're going to cry at a funeral, that's more understandable than crying at a wedding. Like, I never understood understood that bullshit. Crying when you're, because you're just so happy, you start crying. It's like, yeah, but crying is a sign of sadness. It's like, you're fucking dumb. Well, I don't care if people cry at a wedding. I'm just making a personal point. And you're allowed to cry and show emotion. I was just being an asshole. You cry at a wedding, you're stupid. Love is stupid in general anyways. Like, I never associated crying with happiness. That's all I'm getting at. What up, fellow YouTubers? It's your boy, King Cobra JFS. We're live with another video so i was on an ip2 stream and this is the stream i was on now i had a bag of pipe tobacco okay i had a bag of pipe tobacco i stepped off camera to go outside to smoke like i'm supposed to and lo and behold the ip2 assholes photoshopped my bag of pipe tobacco to look like something else now they're blowing up my text messages saying they're going to tell my dad all this other crap. Well, I'm here to set the record straight. If you watch that video I just posted in chat when it ends, you'll see me on video holding up a bag of pipe tobacco. These trolls are full of shit. No, like, I don't do drugs like that, man. That, that's fucked. No, like, if you know IP2, he has a lot of people that are toxic in his, his or her environment. And they troll people for the fuck of it, just because they can, and it's, it's pretty pathetic. Like, smooth move, dickhead, you just, you, you, you just, like, shut the fuck up. Sitting there saying they're gonna call the cops on me and shit, dog, the police watch my videos. Okay? Oh, is this the bag you want to- yes. This is the very same bag that I had in the stream. Look at that. You hold it up, oh, that's pretty easy to Photoshop, YouTube. If you open it up, look, it's Kentucky Brown. Oh, looky there. I got $14.44 in my PayPal. Thank you to whoever sent that. Payment from Exhumed Visions. That's what's up, bro. Thank you, Exhumed. I'll give me some beer tomorrow, that's for sure. No, the liquor, none of the liquor stores in town are open at the moment. I want to fucking hit up that liquor store when I uh, get up and when it's open and get me some beer. Nice cold beer on a Sunday. We are live on the YouTube, and we got some drink combo. What are we drinking on? We got some Sibley lemonade. 
Long live the Prince of Fucking Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne. Look at that. We got some Captain Morgan. I'm almost done drawing the last one for the batch. It's still drying. Once it's done drying, it's dry enough to my satisfactory. We'll post it on the Etsy with the other four. There'll be four wands for $44 and one for $234. Let's try to squeeze a little this before we mix it. Captain Morgan, Long Island iced tea. You definitely taste the alcohol in it, but there's like little to no burn. Now I'm confident my wands will sell out pretty quickly, but if you're buying the wand just to break it on camera, thanks for your money and you just cursed yourself. And we got a video that YouTube recommended for me. Arizona veteran shocked to see suspect trying to burn flag outside home. Like a, a veteran in Arizona was shocked to find his flag was taken. When he reviewed his security camera footage, he watched someone walking up to his porch and attempting to light the flag on fire. Great. What the fuck? I am beyond triggered right now. I watch this shit. I'm like, okay, hold up. I need to get some alcohol because this this is bullshit. Now, when I build my dream house, trust and motherfucking believe, I'm going to put a flagpole so I can fly uh, three flags. One, the United States flag. Two, the British flag. And three, the Scottish flag for my ancestors. And I'll be goddamned if someone tries to burn my fucking flags. Mm-mm. Normally, I'm against snitching to the police, but if you're going out there and trying to burn someone's fucking flag, if you're trying to burn old glory and it ain't a flag burning ceremony, fuck you. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. Thank you for your support. No, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to kill people for my country, but because of my autism, because I took Zoloft at the time, they asked for my enlistments. They're like, well, sir, you have Asperger's and you take medication for your Asperger's, so we cannot accept you into the army. And I was like, well, that's, it is what it is. It's your favorite goth bad boy. Lucky what we got here. We got ourselves a bag of Mickey D's. Double baking quarter pounder with cheese. Extra bacon, extra cheese. No sesame seed bun. Spicy chicken sandwich meal. Add bacon, add cheese, and a large Coke and a large fry. All right. I'm not in the mood to make videos right now. I'm not going to lie. Look at that a spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah, I was supposed to add cheese to this, but you didn't. Typical. So let's add some cheese to it. Add some more bacon to it. Yes, want to pile it up. That's what's up. What do you guys think? Spicy McDonald's spicy chicken burger bacon sandwich. That's pretty intense. Mm. Yo's, look at the layers. You know you want to bite. Extremely unhealthy. Hold you through the night. Let me get another bite. 
the sandwich is pretty filling, so I might just save the rest for breakfast. What up, YouTube? We are live. It is sunrise in good old Casper, Wyoming. I think chat might have accidentally turned itself off again. God damn it. Oh, well. It's like my own little daybreak show. If you don't get the reference, then you don't watch George Bruno, I guess. Little hair of the dog. Drink combination. <laughs> so I got this uh, message on social media. It was privately sent or through the phone or whatever. And they're like, why don't you stop drinking girly drinks? Too drunk off your girly drinks. Let me tell you something, YouTube. I'm so sick and tired of that sexist bullshit. The whole girly drinks. Stop gender neutralizing drinks and alcoholic beverages. Gotta write a solo. Gotta record a guitar solo for my next song. But I'm not doing that until like 12 o'clock in the afternoon because it's a little early in the morning to be playing the Beastie Ranch. Got a little, a little bit left. I might save that for later. During the drink combo with the magic wand. You now I woke up at like 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning and uh, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I figured I'd just get up, make a video. <sighs> Yeah, when I win the lottery, I want to get hair plugs. Fuck this shit. You like a little comb over situation? Not nearly as bad. I already know the kind of clock tower I'd build. Be 48 bells, 47 on a carillon, and the 48th bell on a hemp rope. The wheel so it swings mouth up, old school English style. But I can't decide what note I would make it. So I'll spend days watching bell tower videos. And there's a couple notes on some of the bell tower videos that I like the sound of. And I kind of just sit there and picture it for a second. Now, I do appreciate for those of you who buy the wands from my next batch. They're, they're going to be a bit pricey, yes, but... It'll help me get a, a gift for Father's Day, so I appreciate that. Breakfast of Champions. Here's the thing about YouTube. Your bills and keeping your place clean come before anything else. I don't give a fuck what it is. One second. It is quite unfortunate, but it could be worse. I fucked my gut up, dog. Ugh. 
felt like I was going to puke so I went into the bathroom. <sighs> Trying to sell your food hack. And here you are. It's probably because of the alcohol and what have you. I wouldn't mind having a pet raven. That'd be sick. But I'd have to fucking... After watching Peter Kane's videos, I've learned that ravens are a pain in the ass to care for. They're just like cats. They get into everything. They fuck with your shit. So there you go. And to be honest, I don't have the money for a pet right now. And crows and ravens will fly by my window all the fucking time. It's awesome. I'll take a piece of bread and I'll throw it out the window, break it up into pieces, and occasionally I'll throw it out the window and I'll feed the crows and the ravens and they, they'll fly by my window and they, they recognize me too. When I'm around town, oh yeah, the crows and the ravens here in Casper love me. They're like, hey, this guy's cool. Yes, that is majestic. Now I passed out on my chair and I woke up like the video uploaded. Now, shit, crawled into bed, woke up, took a shot of the uh, Long Island tea. Then I crawled back into bed after watching Shatter Bait. Couldn't go to sleep, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just get up and make a video. It happens. Just got done doing a live video advertising for the last wand for sale on Etsy until I make my next batch, which will include a uh, autographed tin here of some pipe tobacco that I smoked recently. It's empty, of course, but I'm going to autograph the inside of it and the outside of it. Legit. So you'll get that with the wand if you buy it. And thank you to all my customers for supporting Cobra Craft Handmade Wands. That's most definitely what the fuck is up. Now here's the thing of it. I'll get them shipped off Thursday. Gotta wait for that 410 bucks to hit my bank. What up, YouTube? We're doing a video response. Now, I have chat turned off on purpose because uh doing a gender relations sort of video and uh, the manmindset.com dating slash manhood help from all for all men. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Uh... Minimum two, three, four drink limit. We're not going to get carried away. We're going to fill out orders for one. Rocking that F the R word shirt. And you know which word I'm talking about? And so it starts with an R, A, you know, this letter, and an E at the end. Yeah, fuck that shit. I don't even want to say it. That's how grossed out I am by it. I'll be getting like 200 some odd dollars. Out of the 400 that I made, I don't know what, what Etsy's doing with the other half of it, but we'll see. Hey, what's your thoughts on that shit, man? Yeah, well, I, I, I got to have this diagram right here, Lucario, that I always talk about what happens is, is that... It may be autistic, but I do notice a couple of key characteristics. When I can tell they're of age, like women at the bar, women at the liquor store checking me out they're like damn is that the king cobra jfs they catch a whiff of that bond soap and they're like oh my that dude smells good legit i don't want to run through this case uh, in one sitting i like to drink and have a good time but three to four drinks is my limit for now i may have one more after this but four is my limit i don't want to burn through that shit in one whole sitting you get super drunk one night, and then the next day you're craving it, and you don't have any of it. It's dumb, YouTube. I'm going to squizzle one more for the streams, and then that's my cutoff point, because that's like three to four. Hmm. Yeah, you, you don't have a choice. Bullshit, you don't have a choice. You can choose to be a lazy piece of shit, or you can choose to work hard for what you want in life. Yo, that's the goddamn truth. So I'll just stick with drinking one of these. 
overstand what the fuck I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know? This is honestly the last beer I'm having for the night. I'm feeling pretty fucking delicious. Yes, got a spicy chicken sandwich. That woman isn't necessarily a good woman to me or for me because she's not willing to do what I need her to do. What he's basically saying is just because that woman is willing to suck your dick doesn't mean she's the best woman for you. Man, I'm gonna lose out on a good woman because you know, she, she's just not, she said she has to wait or she's not ready or she, no, no, no. When a woman is feeling you and she's really about what you're about and want to do the things you, you want to do, it's going to happen. It ain't going to be no resistance. It's not going to be a bunch of bullshit and all this other stuff. Now, there are times where you're dealing with a woman. So I'll give, I'll leave the door open so you can come back and do this thing if you want to get it popping. But this is what it is, period. And so that's what it is. It's not. It's, it's a thing where you you should never switch your shit up for no woman to try to get her thinking. Well, maybe she's a good woman. So no, no, no. We are the creators of our own world in no our shit. mind. We Preach. destroy planets in our mind. We create vast lands in our mind and places in our mind, brother. We don't lose. You what? Why is she a good woman? What has she done to even determine the fact mm. that she's a good woman? Right. What has she Fuck. done for me? What has she brought to my world, my universe, to make it simple for me? You know, that food hack, food snacking.
Hola, 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 hola. So one of the fucking live streams stop. What up YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video. And uh yep, I kinda passed out in my last live stream and didn't quite finish it. Got I don't know what happened, dog. I like ate that sandwich and boom, I passed the fuck out. Or on stream too that was kind of fish but we're here to finish that video we were responding to yesterday okay i gotta crack one open to say fuck the hangover a little hair of the dog yes but uh what up youtube and i know a lot of people are thinking josh you haven't had a girlfriend in three years dog who the fuck are you to give advice i'm like this isn't advice so much it is it is my perspective now i was gonna do the whole fucking stream in like one video review but i guess i got really good man when that sandwich hit my gut you know what i'm saying uh what the fuck dog i passed out and i was like stop the stream and then i stopped it and passed out and i woke up and i was like wait is that camera still on I looked and sure enough, I'm like, oh, I fell asleep on stream. That's adorable. And I bet you my phone's going to be blowing up with a bunch of text messages of people calling me an alcoholic and calling me a toddler because I passed out on stream and just talking all this shit. And I'm like, do you see the legit 21 plus thousand subscribers that I have on my YouTube channel? Hey, YouTube trolls suck my dick. I'm going to grab like one more and then I'm good for a minute. Like, I only one or two cheers to winning the water and building my dream house yes all right now no more beer till after five that's what's up youtube people want to call me an alcoholic i'm like dude i have one or two on occasion like the last couple of days i haven't drank so suck it I'm going to tell you that women will respect average men if they respect women. That's just the goddamn truth. Damn. Sorry about that. You can try to be king all day, every day, but trust me, dog, it ain't going to work. You can't be king all the time. You got to share that power with your woman. This is called gender equality. There we go. I'll be a little bit more quieter with that one. No, it's the truth. If I'm allowed to see the inside of Big Ben when I go to London, 
I might fucking try to get a video for my YouTube channel. But I get it, your boy King Cobra JFS. Got my phone out. I don't care if the audio is choppy. Look where I'm at. So fucking pan the camera around a little bit. Be like, yes. You know, I've been obsessed with Big Ben since I was two years old. It's weird that I have this obsession with clock and bell towers. But who cares, to be honest? I didn't mean to fucking drink the rest of that pack, but subconsciously it's just like, you know, it's frustrating seeing how stupid our society is. And it's like, maybe I need to get down to their level, so let me just drink another beer. I don't care if I'm going bald or if I haven't had sex with women in three years, as it is automatically implied. And I seriously hate sick fucks, regardless if it's automatically implied or not. Don't call her a bitch unless she's earned it. But it's like, as soon as you say that shit, that you get told you're just simping. Oh, look at the white knight over here. Yeah, don't call me a white knight, you racist. Hey, we're gonna do this last. You're going to why the fuck is these beta males say cupcake and these women out here explain that bullshit to me? Well, the thing is, they 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 have to. If that's the that's how they feel like they need to get women. Yeah. That's it. That's the that's the only strategy. Cause what the fuck is cupcaking anyway? They ain't got no game, so that's the that's the. Is this a terminology I'm not familiar with? What the fuck is this shit? Hold up, gonna look this shit up. Cupcaking women definition. No, that's not what I fucking said. You piece of fuck. Listen, you stupid fuck. Cupcaking women definition. You know what? Fuck you, Bing. We're almost done with this video. Let me just look up this definition. I hate when people do this shit. Let's come up with stupid terms to fucking, you know what I'm saying? To be in a honeymoon phase of courtship or relationship when a couple is engaged in public displays of affection and or being antisocial with by only paying attention to one another during a social outing. And that sounds like a bad thing. And this is why attractive people will date less attractive people. It's because they don't have to try as hard. You got some nerdy ass fat fuck dude with fucking more hair on his stomach than on his goddamn head. The dude's legit creeper. Fucking sad. It's just, just nasty looking as shit. He could be the sweetest guy on the planet. But the first chick to give him a chance and realizes this says, hey, he's not the best looking, but he's a gentleman and a scholar. And the sex is decent enough, even if she's a bit grossed out by his fat, disgusting, hairy stomach. It's a trade-off for her because as a woman, she doesn't feel as pressured to look the prettiest for him. Gentlemen, I'm not trying to scare you. And I always say this, you're gonna blink, you're 18 years old, you'll blink, you'll be 24. You'll right. Blink, you'll be your- I know it, dude, you are preaching to the choir. Once you're 21, it's all just downhill from there, man. And you blink, next thing you know, you're 30 years old. And it's just, it's weird. To think that I'm 30 years old right now, that's surreal for me, man. There's some days that I don't believe it because I don't feel 30, to be honest. I want to set the timer for five minutes on the phone. I'm going to do the world's hottest gummy bear challenge. That's what's up. Hope you all have an awesome day. Basically, film it for YouTube. Go five minutes without relief and you're good. Now, I like drinking on camera, but, and I, I got a little bit of money for alcohol, but I just decided that I didn't want to drink tonight, to be honest.
I like drinking, but uh, pass that on streams a little. Eh. There we go. So we're going to eat it to start the timer for five minutes. We'll hear an old Aluga car horn when the alarm goes off. Let's do this. Fuck, that's hot. <coughs> Just swallow it. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> oh. Swallow it. <coughs> ah. Fuck. Ah. I need some Kleenex. Ah. Ah. Three minutes and counting. One minute to go. Holy shit, that's spicy. Get some wicked ass heartburn. Oh god, I fucked my god up. <laughs> Survive it. That. Oh God, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh. Ah. Uh, how much? That sucked. I'll be fine, I'll catch you later. YouTube, it's your boy King Cole. We're back at it with another video. We got the new pepperoni cheese stuffed crust pizza from Little Caesars. We got some breadsticks, some of that sauce to go with the sticks, and that two liter to do. Let's do it. Hearts. Oh, snap. Yes. King Cobra JFS fam. We are smearing that garlic butter on there. Oh, yes. Now, I like our little Caesar's stuffed crust pizza, but they went and stuffed it with pepperoni. Oh, sniggly. You know, I've seen a couple of food reviewers trying out this new pizza, and I was like, word, I gotta get up on that. Much and dinner for me today. We're gonna get cheese pull on this. Look at that cheese pull, YouTube. Oh, damn, that stuffed crust we can trust is a must. Mm. What are Caesars? I 
shout out to uh, Robert John Adams. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Chilling like a rock star villain. We got ourselves a drink. I got like three drinks to sip on. Now, if I drink on camera from now on, I'm not going to drink to the point of passing out. That just doesn't look good. But speaking of alcohol, yeah, twisted tea. I don't need to drink on stream all the time, but every once in a while, it's good to have a drink. I didn't have one yesterday, to be honest. Like, right, what the hell is Friday? As soon as I sell a couple uh, copies of their album, I'll have like five, six hundred bucks like I normally do. And uh, I'll be able to get my dad a Father's Day gift. Now, my dad likes uh, Red Lobster, so I want to get him like a $50 Red Lobster gift card. Like I was going for a walk and I had a fan buy me like three cans. And I'm like, cool, man, thanks. They didn't want to shout up, but they were just like, hey, man, keep doing your thing. <sighs> Corona Refresca Moss Mango Citrus. This is featured on the channel before. It's just tasty stuff. It's Friday. Crack it open. Now, I only have three, and that's all I need, to be honest. On a real note, I didn't like the fact that I passed out on stream the other day drinking. That was a bit pathetic, to be honest. So, I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. Now I got one more drink to drink before I close out the stream. I don't care if I have any alcohol to drink tomorrow, to be honest, it's Friday night. I'm here to entertain my fans. This is like 10.6% alcohol and volume. This stuff mixes great with Mountain Dew, so I might just grab me a cup. Or I could just drink it straight. I don't have to have a shandy. I don't have to mix my drinks to enjoy them, to be honest. First things was that I had to when I was closing on the condo. Like, I had to work with the lender, the escrow person, my real estate agent. And I kept having to coordinate them as if I was some kind of middleman professionally. And I'm by with Hunter. End up calling Jay. And no, okay. If you're getting so drunk, you're getting into a fight with your other half. That's when you know you've had too much. Like... If I had a girlfriend and she said I drank too much, she was like, Josh, you need to slow down. I'd be like, okay, whatever. Personally speaking, nobody tells me to slow the fuck down. Okay? You hear me? Like, alcohol is legal, I'm of legal age. And as long as I'm not causing a ruckus or disturbing the peace or hurting people, who the fuck cares? Like, emotionally, I might hurt a couple people who care about me. Because it's like, Josh, your drinking concerns me. And it's like, well, I learned from the best. <sighs> Busting balls, of course. Just like, it was stupid. Because the only thing in my life that was coming. Fucking wash my hands. How do you like them apples? My pocket knife fell out of my pocket. I'm gonna holster that. Beautiful blade. Now, I don't mind smoking outside because uh, I like where I'm at right now, living wise. This will do just nicely until I win the lottery or build my dream house. You know what I'm saying? No, like, you want some proof of, proof of my magic. When I got my lease terminated from my old place, I called upon Lucifer. I was desperate. I says, man, I need a place where I can continue my studies and continue spreading the good word of the Dark Lord, Lucifer, and just keep doing my thing. 
And then Lucifer gave me this apartment, and I was like, yes. No, I make honest money with Cobra Craft handmade ones. And my fans love the product I deliver. So at the end of the day, it's honest money, YouTube. People want to talk shit and say, I don't have a job. And it's like, dude, I made $410 in one day flat. Even if Etsy took well over half of it. It is what it is. I still got the wands mailed out. And I still enjoy using Etsy to sell my wands. So I'm not going to have a gift for my dad on Father's Day. But I'm going to put together something sweet. When I get my uh, money from the new album. I want to get my dad something cool for Father's Day. Even if it doesn't happen directly on Father's Day, it's still going to be sweet. Get him a bar, some tactical soap, and a Red Lobster gift card. You know, something that just says, I care. Like... That's what stresses me out about Mother and Father's Day. Because I don't have enough money sometimes to just be like, this is how I feel. You put up with my shit for this long. And I want to make you happy for bringing me into this world and raising me right. <laughs> Keep going, you two. Don't the haters stop you. Well, to end the live stream, so I appreciate y'all tuning in. If anyone donated to my PayPal, oh shit, $23.67 USD. Oh fuck, I appreciate that. I give you cool covers a shout out. Yo, I want to give you a quick apartment tour. We'll start off in the bedroom, yes. I had a fancy made that pillowcase. That's most definitely what the fuck is up. YouTube, what's up? We got the bedroom here. That's most definitely where it's at, tubes. Got my closet. Front door. Kitchen. got a couple of closets right here that's what's up go sure right now about the bathroom yes get yourself some of that tactical soap smell good for the adult women in your life yes there she be, YouTube. Anyways, Tubes, there's the apartment tour. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all later. Hello, YouTubers. It's your boy, King Cobra JFS. So the person fighting with LeVar Burton on Twitter is not me. The person's impersonating me. Honestly, it's dumb. But flattering at the same time that people want to be me so bad.
What up, King Cobra fam? Happy Father's Day. We're doing a video response because that's what's up. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Yes, when I get my next album done, I want to buy my dad a uh, bloody fucking Red Lobster gift card. And uh, yes, thank Lucifer I'm not a father. I don't even want kids or a wife until I've built my dream house, at which point then I could safely say my kid would have a big house to grow up in. They'd be spoiled rotten and well taken care of. You know what I'm saying? It's a natural part of life. You're taking something natural and forcing it. On a side note, GTA 5 Online for the PlayStation 3 slash Xbox 360 is being shut off. On December 16th or the 15th or whatever. And I'm like, Rockstar North, what the hell? So if you've been playing GTA 5 on your Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 for ages, you spent ages building up your characters, creating sick death matches. Well, that's just too goddamn bad. My point being is, if, if you're of a certain type, and you have high standards yourself, you can't bitch when other people have high standards too. No, it's the truth. I don't get pissed off at women for having standards because, honestly, I have them too. You want to reject me because, you know, my trolls are assholes and I'm a balding boglum? Well, that's your loss, to be honest. I know what I'm worth in the dating scene. I know how attractive I am, so there you go. <laughs> And he's the big fat butt. Okay. You get what you reap, you two. That's the fucking truth. Don't judge him for being fat, for one. And two, if you fuck him, unless you got a strong pelvis, you are safer on top. It's the fucking truth. The little bone in your penis. Okay, you can break that shit. If the chick's too heavy for you, you can cause a pelvic fraction. That's legit. Okay? If I hadn't got laid in a long enough time, I would save up for a fuck doll. No bullshit. If I was like 34, 35, 40 years old, and I haven't had sex in like years, I would do it. I would save up like $2,645. And I'd be done with it. I might be on Louder with Crowder this Friday, which would be pretty fucking sick. The dude who says, change my mind. That dude's considered controversial, but it's a chance for me to grow my channel and get people to hear my side of the story. Like, so why was your channel demonetized? Oh, you want to hear some shit. Because Lord knows that my dad puts up with a lot of my shit, and he doesn't have to, but he does it because he loves his son. And that's why my fucking haters are jealous, and they talk so much shit. It's because, legit, my haters don't have a dad that loves them. That's why they talk shit. <sighs> yes. I'll be recording a song for my next album after the live stream. I typed up a song on my phone, legit. And, uh... Yeah, it's a song about drinking beer. Fucking, the quicker I get the album done, the quicker I can get my dad something sweet for Father's Day, a nice $100 gift card for Red Lobster. Doing the Gangsta Special from Little Caesars. Yo. Working on my new album, I need some grub to feel that creation. And for this situation, I have created 
a Little Caesars create your own pizza, fresh mozzarella, jalapeno peppers, onions, smoky ham, bacon, Italian sausage, pepperoni, bacon, stuffed crust round. Yes, the original topping was bacon, and then to add to those create your own. Yes, you already know what's up, YouTube. What's this? Let's set one to the side. Set two for our pizza pride. Yes. All right. King Cobra fam. Look at that. The Little Caesars Gangster Special. Oh, shit. That looks good. The freshness. This. Oh, shit. I'm going to pour a little bit of that third cup on here, yes. Get every piece coated. The Gangsta Special from Little Caesars. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes. I'll spend a two liter of Mountain Dew. That's what's up. Well, good evening, YouTube. We're gonna do ourselves a little live stream before I pass out for the evening. It's Sunday. Yes. Didn't really feel like creative spark when writing my next album, but I will work on it tomorrow, regardless if I have beverage or not. I've already got the next song typed out, so there we go. The first rule of dating is always assume they have a boyfriend. Rejection hurts less that way. If you assume they're taken until you know otherwise, you're, you're more likely to play it smoother. That's the truth. A large gap, which they can easily jump, but having the slinky there just threw the <laughs> Smart Rick was the first one to enter the course, so in the end, after... I got bit on the thumb by a squirrel one time. I can remember that shit. Like, legit, I was living in Valley City, North Dakota. Now, my dog, Chocolate, at the time, was trying to attack this squirrel. And me being the animal lover, I was like, Chocolate, get away from that squirrel. And I was trying to help the squirrel up the tree, but the squirrel's back legs were flattened from being run over. And the fucker bit me in the thumb after a couple of times of dropping it, me being too autistic to see, hey, asshole, the squirrel's hurt. It can't move. Now, luckily, the squirrel didn't have rabies, but uh, that made for an interesting uh, afternoon for my parents, just walking up into, into, my, into my parents' house like, oh, yeah, I got bit in the thumb by a squirrel. Got blood gushing down my arm, like... Yeah, it was metal as shit. Yeah, chocolate has since passed away. She was a good dog. Pretty much every dog I've had up to this point has been a good dog. Well, look at that. You have $19.12 from Robert John Adams. Thank you for the 20 bucks. I appreciate it. That's most definitely what the fuck is up. Yes, I might be able to restock on the booze tomorrow. Yes. Mosey on down to the liquor store and get something to drink on. Yes, I do appreciate y'all's tuning in to watch the stream. And you don't have to donate money. But you will get a shout out if you do donate. So there you go.
Oh, these nails, yeah, they're a little long. I got nail polish on both sides. I don't really have to cut my nails if I don't want to, but to be honest, I want to cut at least the four of them. Is it good for playing guitar in house? But uh, that's not what it is. That's glue, actually. No, nah, it's just glue. Because the hat's falling apart, so I glued it to form that point. You couldn't pay me enough to cut my goatee off my chin, but thank you all for watching the stream. It's your boy King Cobra back at it with another fan mail video. I guess chat automatically turned itself off. What do you do? If you'd like to mail me some stuff, check out that P.O. box in the link below, and you can send me some cool fan mail. Oh, nope, never mind. Chat's on. All right. Yeah, I got another one, a little Le Tute, the uh, off-brand of the pooter, basically. Just in case I lose the one I have in my pocket or it breaks, we got a backup. Look at that. I had a fan send me a, a crystal I could put into a wand. That's pretty sweet. You keep doing you. That's what's up, man. Fuck the haters. Thanks, man. Franklin K and Gabriella K. Cruz. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see yeah, I might be able to do a live stream sometime reviewing all these goodies. What do we got? Oh, yes. You know your boy Cobra loves his pork grinds. What else we got? Oh, shit. Pringles Wavy Moa Burgers. Now, these I haven't seen. That's a new flavor of Pringles that I haven't tried. Shout out to Pringles. I like their chips. They got two sticks of jerky. Yes. Someone sent me a uh, small Ozzy Osbourne t-shirt, so I put it on my dummy Sean because it wouldn't fit my ass. All right. We got a seriously big one over here. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Edible scorpions. Yes. I like bug candy. That's most definitely what's up. What else we got? Ha. <laughs> Cheddar Goblin Macaroni and Cheese. Yes, called a Bogla Mac and Cheese recipe is what I'll call it. And last but not least, bundled up nice and safe. <laughs> yes. No way. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. What do we got? What the fuck do we got? Yo. Oh, God damn it. Yes. Got a couple cans of King Cobra malt liquor. That's what's up. I'm not going to open that one because it hit the floor. Son of a bitch. You goddamn right. I want to try some of this malt liquor on stream. Welcome Cobra gets free booze and tobacco because I'm a YouTube celebrity. Look at that. O Ozzy Osbourne shirt on Sean. Yes. I, I, Sharon. Before I go outside and take the boxes out, let's try an official King Cobra malt liquor and not a sponsor. Now, I've had King Cobra malt liquor before, but people never actually see me drinking on camera, so. <sighs> that is tasty. I like it, and I'm not just saying that because of the name. To be honest, this is a tasty malt liquor. It reminds me of like Mickey's or Steel Reserve. Yeah, me and my dad went to the uh, post office to check my P.O. box and uh, I took a shower with my tactical soap. And uh, yes, I got a compliment from a very sexy of age lady. I won't say where, but she saw me smoking my pipe and she's like you trying to catch a farmer's tan or something or a summer tan i said yeah i get a little tan during the summer <laughs> yes and then as soon as she walked away i heard her say god damn that goth dude smells good or holy shit that dude smells good i'm like yes 
We got ourselves a drink combo, YouTube. What up, YouTube? Look at what we have here. I want to dedicate this drink combo to McKaylee, who donated 25 bucks to my PayPal. I greatly appreciate it. We got some King Cobra malt liquor and some Monster Energy drink. Now, I got some ingredients through DoorDash to uh, help with our cooking video. I'll take that mac and cheese. We're going to add all kinds of goodies to it, including something a little bit gross and weird, but that's what makes the Cobra videos entertaining. Now, I'm not going to get drunk by any means, but I did order a four-pack of this monster with a couple of uh, other selective ingredients. One thing for a food challenge, if I feel up to it for the evening. I'm not trying to eat a whole shrimp platter in one sitting. That could be kind of nuts. What do you guys think? Yes. And shout out to the most recent DoorDash delivery girl that I got the order from. She was very professional, and she had good communication skills. Yes, I did have a good Father's Day. I spent my Father's Day getting drunk and or stoned. No, I, I hate kid diddlers more than I hate kids, to be honest. Don't drink to that. Cheers, folks. <laughs> Whoa! Fucking Asperger's. Excuse me. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's done a fart compilation of all of Cobra's nastiest farts. King Cobra JFS fart compilation. And just like take a video of me farting every fart that I've ever made in the video and just like put it together in one giant montage. That would be some shit. Here it is, folks. The shrimp platter. Yes, you want to see Cobra eat this entire platter of cocktail shrimp in one sitting? You might just do that. What up, spooky girl? I love when a man can eat a whole shrimp platter. <laughs> Aww. Cooked and shell shrimp cocktail with sauce. There's the company that makes it. Yes, not a sponsor. Let's go. There's like some kind of tape holding it shut. I'm going to get rid of all this tape. Okay, this is, no. We're just going to get rid of this tape with our knife. No, like if you go to a party, it's always nice if they offer like a little cocktail shrimp platter, you know. Something a little classy. For the situation. Yes. Get the fuck over it. You fuck. At this rate, I'm going to be an 80 year old man before I get this fucking shrimp opened up. Like, fucking ridiculous. Let's watch the autistic Spurg struggle to open up the fucking shrimp. Yes. There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. That took for fucking longer than I wanted it to take. All right. Here's our shrimp. A nice little pretty platter of shrimp. Let's get into it. Yo, this motherfucker is frozen solid. Are you shitting me? Oh, well, that's because you got to take the plastic off, stupid. Okay, there we go. 
At first I was like, wait a second. Why can't I get any of these shrimp out? Yo, it's still frozen solid, B. God damn it. Ah, fuck. I can't break any of this shit off, dog. I'm going to have to let these fuckers dethaw before I do the challenge. Mother. That's all right. I was looking forward to nailing that challenge, too. Like, I'm looking at this like, I got this. This ain't going to be that hard. Just one at a time. You know what I'm saying? Microwave it. Yeah. I might microwave it. I didn't think to do that. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, that two minute burst did the trick. The shrimp's on frozen. Now I'm going to put it in the fridge to get nice and cold before I do the challenge. Goddamn right I got it. I had a fan send me like six cans of some King Cobra malt liquor. I went and got some Monster Energy drink to mix with it. Yes, not a sponsor. Although I'm thinking about getting that green M right there tattooed right here on my other bicep. Coincide with my Cradle of Filth band logo on this side. Yes. So my next tattoo is going to be a Monster M. A green one on this bicep. Yes. Now these uh, King Cobra malt liquors are only like 6%. But chug back, I think this is my second or third one. I am going to save one for the morning, though, just because after a night of uh, slamming back a couple of beers, it's nice to wake up in the morning and be like, man, I'm craving a beer. And you go into your fridge like, ah! you know what I'm saying? After dethawing it in the microwave for about two minutes, and letting it sit in the freezer for a bit, or not the freezer, excuse me, the fridge. Dethaw it in the microwave for two minutes and let it sit in the fridge. One platter of shrimp. Dip it. Just squeeze that tail. There it is. Empty. All right. YouTube, let's get it. Now, dipping your shrimp is optional. The challenge is to eat a whole platter of shrimp in one sitting. Yo, you ever had cocktail shrimp? Let me know in the comments. I do enjoy seafood. Give it a dunk. Ugh, you too, fam. I got one left on the platter. Don't know if I could do it. Psych. One platter of shrimp down. Yes. One second. Ah, oh, yes. Mm. My tummy's as happy as I got liquors and cocktail shrimp in my stomach. Yes. YouTube, it's your boy King Cobra JFS. So we're making a mac and cheese. I had some fans send me two boxes of this goblin cheddar mac and cheese. Now you can use any cheese slash beer bacon that you want it really doesn't matter now we're gonna add our noodles and our water thank you to the fans who sent the mac and cheese cheddar goblin macaroni and cheese now i got the water level just barely above the uh, noodles 
Now to make it beer flavored, we're gonna go ahead and crack open that Bud Light Platinum, not a sponsor. And pour a splash of that beer right on top of our noodles, just like that. Strain it, dump some of that water out. <sighs> now into our mix, we're gonna add a shit ton more butter and our cheese powder and some shredded cheese. Yes. All right, now we got our cheese powder. Let's add some other stuff to it. The rest of the beer. Now before we add the bacon and the chips, we want to get that cheese mixture going. So there we go. Now that's what's up. We're going to stir that cheese powder and that shredded cheddar cheese all around. I'm going to stir that in. Yeah, I'm going to add just like a little bit more butter to that. Not much, just like maybe a couple more forkfuls. There it is, she be, YouTube. Look at all that bacon in there with that sauce. Yes. This mac and cheese is going to be boss. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll see. Now for our final ingredient, we're going to add some of these cheddar uh, flaming Hot Ruffles. That actually doesn't smell half bad, I'm not going to lie. Okay, there it is, folks. We're going to mix it around and let it simmer. Let's see what we got for hot sauce. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to add hot sauce to it. I think the ruffles will make it spicy enough. But I'm going to add like a little bit of liquid smoke to it. Just for flavor. Make that bacon pop. A couple of drops will go a long way. You don't need to hold on to this shit. Yeah, you don't need a whole lot, just a little bit, do you? Not gonna lie, this looks pretty tasty. What do you guys think? Would you eat it? Because I'm about to eat it. You know, I don't care if it tastes like shit, YouTube. I'm just grateful to have what I have in life. And that uh, that's real talk. <sighs> I mean, I'm not very hungry right now. I so want Jake just a couple of steamy bites for the camera. See how it turned out. Smells good. Hmm. It's all right. That's actually kind of tasty. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the best fucking dish I've ever made, but it's all right. You got a family or friends coming over, I'd, I'd, I'd serve this for dinner at a party. It's decent enough. Bite Size Cobra videos made a fart compilation. You should react to it. Yeah. <sighs> Better let me put money back in my account so it's not in the negative. Appreciate that, Alex Ford. Thank you very much. Maybe I'll react to that bite sized Cobra video. Maybe I won't. Anyways, tubes. And just for the record, that's not that's someone else's channel ripping off my content, basically. But I'll catch you later. What is up, fellow YouTubers? It's your boy King Cobra JFS back at you, Cool Cobras, with another video. Anyways, I do appreciate the support my fans have been giving me on the new album. That's most definitely what's up. I know I got the chat turned off because people were spamming it with nastiness. Got my phone on airplane mode. We got ourselves a drinking horn and some mead. To honor my Viking ancestors.
Hope you all are doing just fantastic. I'm going to have a beer and a glass of mead out of the drinking horn, and that'll be the stream. There's no need to get drunk all the time on YouTube. It's fun to get drunk, but then you don't get any liquor the next day, and it's kind of like, eh. In fact, I'm going to play my drinking song. Now I have a drinking horn for all some good mead, crack open a beer, and that be it. I'll make another batch of wands in the next couple of days. Let me finish making the money on what I'm doing now. Then when I make the peak of the money, when I got all the money from my next album, I'll start making another batch of wands. So as I'm spending it, I'm making it. That's how you continue the cycle, YouTube. It's brilliant. People just treat me like I'm stupid. Like, oh, he don't know any better. Also got the merchandise for the new album. That's most definitely what's up. We got some wicked sick stickers with the album cover. They look sick, bro. Got my account out of the negative. I took care of anything else I need to take care of. And we as Gucci at this point. What's this? Pringles Wavy Moa Burger? Shoot. If you like the video, subscribe for more. Yes. That was definitely a troll gag. That is delicious. Yes. Boy, howdy, the trolls got me on that. That is good shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Shit. The trolls. Yeah, that's good shit. Mini Easy Chicken Bowl is one such item. The reason this particular order was so darn great was that it combined other menu items people love. What items are being used in this case, you ask? Well, it seems that the Popeye's Big Easy Chicken Bowl is an adaptation of the Popeye's Red Bean and Rice Meal and the Popeye's Louisiana Cajun Poutine. So why would such a successful item be pulled from the menu? We can uh, whoop your float. Celebrate the album, yes. You know, the trolls are going to talk shit, but I'm coming up with legit drink combinations. What the fuck are they doing with their life? Nothing. Just sitting there talking shit. Got my lighter slash beer opener. Got a not your father's root beer float we're making. Now this is one of my drink combinations I call the sneaky snake root beer float. Because you know the sneaky snake drinks root beer when you're not looking. And he looked just like a stag. I'm not trying to get root beer floating all over my anti-rape shirt, but there you go. Cobra, you naughty bastard. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, sorry. Hey, I'm a chef, and because of COVID, I unfortunately had to shut down my restaurant. So instead, I started making fancy dinners for my baby couple of <laughs> Now I'm going to squeeze another Viking horn of that good stuff because that's the truth. Get all delicious out. No, ew, and those onions did not look good at all. The bun looked weird and moldy. 
Nah, the truth of it is, YouTube. Drinking some of that mead out of the horn like a Viking badass that my ancestors are. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. We got six Rebel Revolution copies left, man. There's that link. Buy it while you can. You're going to get a physical copy from Deathbed Tapes. Yes. I seem to have acquired some beer in my, in my uh, midst. What is this? Budweiser Select. Oh, that's different. You know what pisses me off about our society? To be brutally honest, YouTube. Who gives a fuck if you're unhealthy, if you eat like crap? As long as you ain't going out of your way to hurt someone or yourself in the long run, it's no one's business. Yes. Now, buying the album is definitely going to help your boy Cobra out. Most definitely what's up. I'm going to order some tactical soap and get a Red Lobster gift card. And I'll be giving my dad a bar of tactical soap and some Red Lobster gift card goodness. Now, the story behind Deathbed Tapes. Alex Ford bought a wand from Cobra Craft Handmade Wands. And he got inspired by my business to start his own record company. And it's really taken off. See what happens when you gain inspiration from good people. You can do good things with your life. Just shave it, bruh. I'm not shaving it, bruh. I like my long rock star hair. I don't give a fuck. It's the truth. It's my fucking hair. It ain't bugging no one. If it really truly really bugs you that I have the hair on top that I have, that's your problem, dude. I want a hard rocker, always a hard rocker. I don't give a shit, YouTube, about the way it looks. Because the hair does not make the man. These decisions do. Sold out. And I didn't have to go live for more than 10 minutes. That's the kind of crap my trolls wish they had. If they could make money like that at the drop of a hat, all puns aside, they wouldn't be talking so much shit. And the fact that they legit text me and say, well, I've got a paying job and a girlfriend and blah, blah. I'm like, good, good for you, man. You're so miserable. Even with all those things in life that they can't make you happy enough, you got to fuck with the autistic boggling because your day's just not complete until you started some shit with someone who's legitimately got bigger balls than you do. Josh, can you, you should make a Halloween album. Yes. Yeah, that's the cool thing about it is uh, Hell's Advocate was a Halloween album. I got it done before Halloween and released it, but I can do another one, yes. Make it more Halloween-themed. No use Notre Dame's bells in the opening of Cannabis in the Clock Tower song that I did. And a month after recording it, Notre Dame caught fire. But miraculously, the bell towers were saved. They didn't burn to the ground, and no one got hurt. And I recorded it for my album, Hell's Advocate. Now, that's kind of a spooky coincidence. Maybe Satan and God are sick and tired of those sick fucks in the churches doing sick shit, and that's all I want to say on that. You can't tell me that's all a coincidence. A month after recording Smoking Cannabis in the Clock Tower using Notre Dame's bells in the opening. Perfectly harmless little stoner song. Very catchy, by the way. Notre Dame catches fire. And it's the songs for Hell's Advocate. That's some spooky shit. I gotta wonder if I really am as powerful as I say I am. And the answer is yes, of course. The influence is great, YouTube. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, pack at it with another video. So I want to do a video response to a Blair White video. I turned off chat because a lot of controversial things might be said in this video, both from either myself or the individuals 
We're being asked the questions. And let's start the video off by look at this, YouTube. We got ourselves a scorpion. I opened it up and look at this, YouTube. We got a black scorpion. You believe that shit? Now, I might eat that for a video, but you're going to have to give me a lot of likes on this video if you can do it. Yes. So, King Cobra JFS will be doing this challenge in a separate video, but get y'all hyped for that. Now, my account is negative $49 because I ordered my dad something for Father's Day, but that's not a big deal because I'm getting my Patreon money tomorrow, so there we go. Duh. Now, I would have gotten some alcohol today for this video response, but I spent uh, my album money on getting my dad something for Father's Day. I ordered my dad some tactical soap, the original Six Cents, of which I want to keep the Bond number one, as that's my favorite scent. Then I'll, then I'll give my dad the rest of them for Father's Day as a gift. So there you go. So let's see what we got. Big old black scorpion. One of those uh, scorpions you can snack on. Look at that YouTube. Oh, it's cooked at least. Let's... Ish. Ugh. Crunchy. Ugh. It's got a good flavor on it, but the crunchy texture kind of throws me off. Now, for safety consumptions, of course, they remove the stinger. I don't see if I can eat this whole entire scorpion. Yes. Like, like once you get, get past the fact that it's a, it's a black scorpion, and these are actually a delicacy in other countries. Look at that. Eating a black scorpion on YouTube. One bite for the hell of it, as healthy junk food would say. Anyways, YouTube's King Cobra JFS back in there with another videos. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.